leading to coagulation. So thrombin alone is pro-coagulant, but once thrombin bind with it, it is so much modulated, it becomes anticoagulant. How? The thrombin by thrombin which is loaded on the thrombomedulin is so much modulated itself, it activates protein C. C. And activated protein C will destroy activated factor 5 and 10. Factor 8, yes, that means you are awake and having your brain that work. Good. Now, endothelium still want to do something else. If from some other area where coagulation is going on, if some fibrin come here, you know purpose of coagulation was to convert fibrinogen into fibrin. If some fibrin come here, healthy endothelium have the mechanisms even to prevent the fibrin system, right? How fibrin can, uh, can be prevented? Healthy endothelium produces a substance called tissue, yes, plasminogen activator. This is a product which is produced by, yes, healthy endothelium. Healthy endothelium produces a product called tissue plasminogen activator, right? what this product is doing, right, tissue plasminogen activator. It can convert another protein coming from the liver, there is a protein called plasminogen right. So, tissue plasminogen activator activate the plasminogen protein into what? Plasmin. Plasmin. And what plasmin is doing? Yes, what plasmin is doing? Yeah, what plasmin is doing? Who will tell me the function of plasmin? Yeah, it will take the fibrin strands. It will take the fibrin and break the fibrin, degrade the fibrin and fibrin will break down into fibrin degradation products. What does it mean? That healthy endothelium has a power to destroy the fibrin. It has power to destroy the fibrin. How it destroys the fibrin? That it produces tissue plasminogen activator, which will activate the plasminogen into plasmin. Plasmin is an enzyme which is fibrin cutter. What is this enzyme? This is a fibrin cutter. So these are few mechanisms which are right now working in your body to keep your blood into fluid form, liquid form, so that it keep on circulating. And whenever endothelium is injured, whenever endothelium is injured, right? Platelets, plug will form, coagulation will occur. Why this will occur and how this will occur? Now we will talk about. Up to now, up to now we are talking about healthy endothelium. We say health, healthy endothelial lining is a tissue which is anti-thrombotic and anti-coagulant. Healthy endothelium is a tissue which is anti-thrombotic, anti-platelet and anti-coagulant. Is that right? Now we talk about we will injure, injure some endothelial cells and see what happens. Are you interested in knowing what happens when you injure endothelial cells? Because as doctors you will know, endothelial cells are injured by trauma, endothelial cells are injured by radiation, endothelial cells are injured by bacteria and viruses, endothelial cells are injured by your drugs, endothelial cells may be injured by thermal injury, endothelial cells may be injured and activated by cytokines. Endothelial cells may be injured by antigen-antibody complexes. Endothelial cell may be injured by your special procedures by which you are passing special cannulas into vascular system. So there are so many things which injure the endothelial cell. And good doctor should know how the injured endothelial cells behave. Right? Now we will talk about that. We remove these mechanisms. Of course, 
the first thing if someone asks you when endothelial cell is when any point in the vascular system is injured what happens right now we are going to that if endothelial cells are injured what really happens now listen carefully let's suppose these endothelial cells are injured right due to any type of trauma there is injury and these endothelial cells are injured here right now at this point constituents of blood will convert into semi-solid mass and plug this point we have to talk about that actually if this point is significantly injured then the life fluid blood may leak out bleeding may occur and our vascular system knows that blood is a very very important fluid and it tries its best to prevent the undue bleeding is that right now first question there are three steps in uh, preventing the preventing the bleeding what is the step number one again for example if you injure me here and some of my blood vessels are injured they will try their best to reduce the bleeding what is the first point vascular constriction platelets will be activated later first point which you have to remember that whenever a vessel is injured right vessel immediately undergoes vascular spasticity vasoconstriction right what is there vasoconstriction this is it is a very uh, early response to injury but it is for very short time vessels undergo constriction how the vessels undergo constriction what is the mechanism number one when blood vessels are injured of course surrounding nerve endings are also injured and from the surrounding nerve endings from the surrounding nerve endings vasoconstrictors are released vasoconstrictors are released so this is called neurogenic reflex vasoconstriction how the vasoconstriction occur neurogenic reflex vasoconstriction number two smooth muscles you know smooth muscles here when they are injured they also undergo contraction that is called myogenic constriction there is myogenic constriction so there was reflex vasoconstriction which is mediated by nervous system local neurons and there is reflex myogenic constriction this constriction is done by injured smooth muscle in the wall of the vessel and third mechanism is don't forget your friends endothelial cells endothelial cells in health produce vasodilators in injury they produce vasoconstrictors I mean they are having some cerebral cortex I believe they know what to do at what time that endothelial cells when they are healthy they produce vaso dilators and endothelial cell when they are healthy they produce small amount of vasodilators so that vessels remain open and blood keep on flowing but as soon as endothelial cells are injured they produce a product we try to constrict the vessel so that there is some injury and blood in blood flow in that area should be reduced what are the vasodilators produced by endothelial cells in health pgi2 and nitric oxide these two products are not only antiplatelet aggregation but also vasodilators prostacyclines and nitric oxide when they go to the lumen they go to the lumen they prevent the platelet aggregation and when these product come to the smooth muscle they relax the smooth muscle prostacyclines relax the smooth muscle nitric oxide also relax the smooth muscle so they are mediating vasodilator right so